It can happen to any of us. You're in a hurry and you leave home without your umbrella. Then, as luck would have it, it starts to rain. It's just a minor inconvenience for most of us, but when you're homeless, it can make your day-to-day -day struggles even more challenging. Under cloudy November skies, Mecklenburg County Homeless Support Services and a group of dedicated volunteers are holding their second annual umbrella drive for the homeless. Last year in less than six hours, we raised more than 850, so this year we need your help. Even the weather is cooperating with us and being overcast and a little yeah. rainy, it shows you that those who are in need need your help. So come and join us. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. So we're asking for 1400 this year so that we can give extra. For instance, um, the relatives, we're going to give them, I think, about 50 or 65 because, you know, kids are in and out of there so when a kid leaves you know they get to leave with an umbrella and um, then we'll have more for backup. Uh, the shelters, you know people are in and out so we want to be able to serve folks as much as we possibly can particularly during the, during the rainy season. Most of us don't think too much about umbrellas unless it starts to rain. Not so for this Charlotte Mecklenburg police officer. He keeps a steady supply in his car at all times and hands them out as he's driving along. It's a gesture not soon forgotten. People who want to throw them away, they just lie them on the street. And I go by and say, hey, um, has anybody claimed this umbrella? And I just put it in the trunk of my car. And then when I see somebody on the street, just give it to them. When you see a fire truck pulling up, it's usually a sign that help is on the way. This time the help comes in a slightly different way, as the firefighters arrive with more than 100 umbrellas to donate. Today we bought two cases, which are 100 umbrellas, but we have some additional funds for you that will be coming to you, and I'll be talking to you about that, how we can get those funds to you for this drive, because we realize this is a serious problem here within the community, and we want to be involved with it all that we can. The annual umbrella drive serves two purposes. Sure, it's good to get an umbrella into the hands of a homeless person, but this is also a chance for the support team and the volunteers to help educate the public about the plight of the homeless in Charlotte, which by recent estimates may be as high as 6,000, many of whom are children. When we're talking about homelessness, people tend not to think about children who are impacted by that. They see the guy on the street flying a sign for whatever, or they may see mom going down the street but they don't see the children who are part and parcel of that whole homeless scenario. This year's drive collected more than 600 umbrellas with more continuing to trickle in. A success story by any measure, but even more important as it increases the community's awareness of the homeless and shows in a small way that this is a caring and compassionate community.